So anybody have any questions for these very impressive, dreaming big and getting there kind of women? Self by Southwest Interactive, 
And I did it. I put together sponsors, I got the venue, I organized it, and I did it. I wanted to do a startup, I found my co-founders, you do it. And you just find it's hard, right? It's not easy. And you, and you have to fight for it and you work long hours and you spend like so much of your, your, so much of your life um, thinking like, what the hell am I doing, right? Because you, you have lots of dark days. Lots of days that you think, am I spinning my wheels? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, am, I, am I able to even get there? Am I, you know, who am I to think that I'm, I deserve this? And then something happens. And it doesn't happen out of luck. It happens because you've been pushing and pushing and doing it. So, any other questions? <laughs> in the daily grind of, okay, this is my business, and you know, when do you step back, let it go a little bit, so you can look at the bigger picture and bring on that employee. Um, I think that's one of the hardest parts, it's financially, and then also to let go of it a little bit. So like, um, I guess, you know, Amber, and then, you know, you've experienced this too, I'm sure. When did you do that, and how did you work through that process? Well, Amber, I'll let you... Yeah, I will say that that's something um, I, you know, I mentioned earlier, my jewelry business, and I think it did okay. I don't know, I like jewelry, I think it's cool stuff, but the reason that I never grew into being you know, a Danny Joe or someone like that is because I never hired anyone, and I would let my interns close, and I really tried to do everything myself, and that was because I was so protective of it. It was like my brand, and I didn't want people like messing it up or like saying something I wouldn't say. And I, that was literally like the end of the road with that. It's like, okay, well, this is not a long-term thing, and I can't provide for myself doing this. And so with reward style, I will actually, again, give credit to my boyfriend Baxter, who's here, um, because he's one who's like, if you don't like push forward and hire and do these things, then you are never going to grow. Like, you're not, you're not capable of doing this by yourself. Like, look at Facebook, how many employees they have. Um, I'm sure that that was hard for them to kind of let go and bring more people in and kind of share these secrets. But after like, you know, our first. We opened our office. We had three of us working there in the office. Um, since that time, we now have about 11. And like, it's like almost like at that first one, you realize, oh my God, well that helps so much. Like if we get another one, and that helps, and like all these people become like a really close part of your team. And I think um, there's some things you've done right, some things you've done wrong. And I think the thing that's done right is spending a lot of time with the people that you hire, so that they really know um, the focus of your brand. They know how to speak for your brand. Um, and I, I just think that, that that time investment, although it seems hard to get into, like I'm spending double the amount of time if I just did this myself, going forward, it's um, not scalable unless you do that. Do you, do you have investment? I don't know if I can say that or not. Well, I think so. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll speak openly. Okay, so who, who here knows? And this is to, to sort of answer your question, too. I mean, taking it to the next level, it sometimes takes, requires like, this huge leap of faith, right? You take a lot of risk. But there's also like, um, uh, you know, the OPM, other people's money, right? <laughs> so there's this huge, like this thousands and thousands of angels and VCs out there that will write you a check for millions, hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. This is a multi-billion dollar investment uh, play that are across the U.S. that they'll do. When you just go, you go in and you pitch them an idea, you show them you know, how it's working, you show them your business model, how you've thought it out, if they like your idea, they are going to write a check for you. Now, they're going to own a part of your company, mm -hmm. and you can negotiate that, you know, but, but it'll, it'll, it, that helps take you to the next level. We have over $500,000 in investment at Biosphere now, um, over the three, like two and a half year span that we've been working on it. Pitching is really hard, and it's, and getting in front of these, Groups usually of men in big boardrooms with their fancy snacks and everything else. <laughs> with a spreadsheet of total conjecture, like, yeah, this is how many millions we'll make in five years, when I'm like, I'm totally speaking out of my rear end. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's really difficult. But what's really what's really um, amazing is, uh, you know, this, this, this industry has come so far um, that, that people are raising money off of off of ideas now too. And if you have a viable business that all you need to do is inject some capital to grow it to the next level, and you can show that that is gonna return some money, there are investors out there that are dying to meet you. <laughs>